Hey everyone, Jason from Odd Audio here. I've got a bit of a tech tip, FYI slash fix for an odd problem that I kind of had to figure out on my own because apparently this is a rare weird thing that uh, not a lot of people have encountered. Basically, it's ground noise. And I specifically, I have a customer's Threshold T200 power amp in, and this one's doing it. And I've had uh, other components do it, power amplifiers as well as preamplifiers. Not everything does this. Some stuff does. It seems to depend on how the internal ground arrangement is in the unit. But in my apartment building, I have noisy ground problems. And even with all the filters uh, in the world that I've thrown into my system, some stuff still manages to get through and it is audible on the speakers. So I'll try to capture this as best I can. Hopefully that came through. It's kind of an erratic, sometimes rhythmic crackling sound, and it can be very, very subtle, or it can be loud enough that you can hear it from the listening position. And uh, basically, the fix for it is to put a filter into the ground. Now, if you're not confident in you know, actually modifying a design to do it, or in this case, it's a customer's unit, and I'm not going to go playing with the ground design. Uh, this, right now, I have to connected with just a regular IEC cable. So what I'm gonna do, turn off, move this cable, and I have a modified cable, which I've actually installed what we call an RC filter onto the ground wire. So just the ground wire, you leave the live and the neutral alone. This is totally a bodge. I just use this for when I need to test equipment. So this is not my permanent solution, but this does fix it. And what an RC filter is, is just uh, like a two or three watt resistor in parallel with a 0.1 microfarad, uh, 400 volt film capacitor. And put that in. And your problem is solved. Uh, I won't bother recording it, but I can tell you that it is dead silent with that cord with that filter in it. So like I say it depends on the design. Some stuff has that built into the way that they do the ground network and the chassis. Um, and you won't have that issue. But if you do have that issue, usually crackling like that is signs of a connection issue but not always. In this case, it's a ground problem where noise is actually getting in through the mains ground and managing to work its way into the signal path to the point where it's audible on the speakers. So hopefully that helps somebody out because uh, I really had to figure that out on my own through experimentation before I finally determined that it wasn't the equipment that was doing it, it was my power supply and that was the way to get around it.